Hello. As always, it's Thursday morning, and so that means it's time for me to share with you my weekly Weight Watcher weigh-in. Uh, this week has been much better than last week, and my topic will give a better explanation of why I think that is. First of all, though, I'm going to give you my weigh-in. Last Thursday, on February the 15th, I weighed in at 128.6, and that was over a two-pound gain from the week before, so I was not happy with myself. I, you, you notice I didn't say happy with the results, because the results are going to be whatever you do. I mean, there could be a half a pound difference. But in, when all is said and done, it really is your behavior, your mindset that determines what the results are going to be. Uh, I was not happy with that 128.6. And so I, it did help for me to get my mindset back into weight loss mode. I had a very busy weekend, including uh, hosting with other women a baby shower. And it was um, laden with foods that had a lot of points. I didn't stay completely away from some of those pointed foods, but I did manage not to overeat. It was a brunch, and so I was fortunate enough to where I brought a, a bunch of uh, fruits and a low-pointed dip. I make a low-pointed dip with... Um, a uh, light and fit yogurt that I uh, love to eat. And then I also um, had a high pointed dip that I offered for everyone else, but I stayed with my yogurt dip. And you know, that's an important thing to remember is always give yourself better options. Uh, but that's a topic for another day. Uh, Monday, when I got on the scale, I was down a little bit. I think I was uh, down four-tenths of a pound, so that gave me some encouragement because I had been to that baby shower. But I decided I was going to almost pretend that I had gained over the weekend like I so often do and, and really try to stay the course and lose some more. So I did... What I think was was uh, pretty good on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Yesterday, I did use all of my um, Weight Watcher points, uh, but it was still good choices. So when I got on the scale this morning, I weighed in at 126.8. Whew, that is a 1.8 pound loss. So I didn't lose all the weight that I gained last week, but I made a good move toward doing it. And I do feel like that now I have more incentive to lose weight. And so I'm going to go right into my topic. And the topic for this week is setting goals to lose weight. Uh, last weekend, I found out that I have been offered another opportunity to participate in the Chosen TV series as a background extra. And because of that, this will be my third uh, season that I've been able to participate in. And I already have a couple of costumes that I have worn in the other two seasons. Well, I have to make sure that I can fit into those costumes. So that is a wonderful goal that I have set for myself. And I don't have as much time this year because the uh, filming will be in April. Um, by the way, as a program note, I will be gone that week. Will not be able to weigh, possibly not even be able to post any uh, YouTube videos, so be um, aware of that. Uh, I'll try to remind you 
uh, of it the week as I leave. But I do want to get back to setting goals. You know, back when I had my thyroid issue in 2016 and 17, I put on 20 pounds. I've told y'all that before. And the thing that really helped me get those 20 pounds off was I set a goal for myself. I, in August of 2017, I found out that I was going to go to Disney World in March of 2018. So I knew I had about six months to get that 20 pounds off. And I've shared many times that I not only was able to get those 20 pounds off, I also built in a cushion of 10 more pounds. So I got 30 pounds off from August until the end of February of 2018. And I attribute a lot of it to having that goal set before me. Christmas of 2017 was one of the few years that I lost weight during the holidays. So that was definitely something that shows me that when you have a goal set before you, it sort of helps your mind to stay in weight loss mode. Now, I do want to add just a little bit here toward the end. I'm going to put up a few pictures of when I participated in The Chosen these past two years. Uh, Papa was with me the first year that I went. I was by myself last year. Not really. There were 600 other people there, but I was the only person I knew when I went out to Utah. Uh, I met some wonderful, wonderful Christian friends that have stayed close to me during this whole year uh, since my Utah experience, and I'll be going back to Utah in April with my daughter, and I'm very excited to travel with her. We used to travel a lot back in the early 2000s, but it's probably been at least 15 years since we've gone anywhere, just uh, her and me, and so I'm really excited about this. Um, it will be a long trip. We are not as young as we used to be, and so I'm going to put some pictures up about um what mine and Papa's experience was, what my experience was last year. I do have to be careful about some of the pictures that I put up about last year because that was season four, and season four is in the theaters right now. So I have to be careful not to expose certain things about season four. They'll just be generic pictures, but I hope you'll enjoy them. Uh, one other thing I wanted to say was... Whenever you choose a goal, stick with it. Now, I recommend having a goal longer than two months, but this was what was set before me uh, this year, and so that's what I'm going to do. And one other thing, if you've never seen The Chosen, I really wish that you would consider uh, downloading the app. The app is The Chosen, or you can watch a lot of it here on YouTube. It is about Jesus and the disciples he chose to follow him. And where it is not always totally scriptural, but it doesn't stray enough from scripture to be what I consider wrong or what we call blasphemy, I do not think that it crosses over to that line. But I have not seen season four yet, so I'm not 100% sure about that this year. But I do wish that you would check out The Chosen uh, and also the uh, foundation that I am connected with that uh, invites me to participate is called the Come and See Foundation. It, this is a wonderful wonderful foundation that is trying to make sure that the Bible and the chosen is translated into every language in the world. Over 600 languages is their goal right now. And so it is a nonprofit, and um, I really am a firm believer of uh, the Come and See Foundation. So please look it up too. I uh, I hope you all have a wonderful week. God bless each and every one of you. Until next time, goodbye.